We managed to repel the Imperial Army, but we remain divided on our next course of action. I anticipate a second and third wave of attack. With our current forces, we'll have our hands full just defending. It's a miracle we managed to repel the Imperial Army with the few units and resources we do have. We should probably contact Rodrigue right away to request backup. Rodrigue is in a difficult position, as he has suffered invasions by the dukedom. But there are troops who share in our cause, gathering in the heart of Fraldaria's territory. If we can arrange for them to join us, our forces will grow considerably. Fraldarius. So, Rodrigue is still alive, is he? So you did. I wonder what my old man will say when he sees you now. That spectacle alone will be worth the trip. Hmm. I've already sent word with our fastest messenger, informing Rodrigue that his highness is alive. But we would do well to send another in case anything happens to the first. With the current state of things, we'll be completely helpless without his support. Your highness, may I ask what your next plan of attack is? Should we dispatch our troops to the Kingdom Capital or to the Imperial Capital? We will take the Imperial Capital. There, I will kill her. We end the war and chase away the lingering regrets of the dead. Nothing could be more to the point. Uh, that may be true, but don't forget that your people need our help right now. Your Highness, I hate them too. But the citizens of Ferdiad have long awaited your return. Just give it up already. Wasting time thinking about stuff like that will only dull your blade. Defeating Edelgard would put an end to the war. That would benefit the kingdom as well. We still need to look for Lady Rhea. So I agree that we should get to Enbar as fast as possible. Professor, whatever you decide, we shall follow. Yes, it is the only way. Either way, we are in need of numbers. It is essential that we secure backup. <laughs>